Welcome to your last video in the series related to Snapseed. In this particular episode we got Snapseed, we're going to be looking at importing uh, the looks or styles you developed in your app. Have a look at the playlist videos where I show you how to create one of those. And this time we're going to be sharing that app from one device to another. But imagine the screenshot you took and you, short, you cropped, that's what someone else can import and use. So tap on Snapseed, hit the, hit the plus, yes, very good. Tap a photo. So now if you look up here, there's an icon here that looks a bit like two double diamonds with an arrow point, pointing left. You're going to tap on that to reveal the QR look. So tapping on it. And then if you see at the bottom here, it says QR look. Tap on that one. You want the bottom option which says scan QR code, QR look. Tap on that. I'm going to allow the camera. And I need to get close to my QR look there. So scan that. What I need to do is I need to, this line of things here. These are my looks. I need to use my fingers to scroll all the way to the end. Hit the plus. And then I'm going to give whatever name you want. Um, if you are kind with the people who share this with you, just use your initials. So I'm just going to say, as though I'm another person, WD Weird X was the name I gave it. So WD Weird X, save. And then if you look at the bottom, it's there. So now and in future, whenever I want to use that particular filter created by William Doust, I can go down there and look for it and just apply that to my all my images. That's the quickest and simplest way. If you ask kindly enough, I may do your bonus video on how to actually hack and tweak one of these filters before you actually save it. Okay, so thank you for listening.